Welcome to Gridbusters. Today I've finally got the air conditioning on in here. Uh, it's uh, been quite warm over the last few days. Yesterday it was up to 35 degrees Celsius. Today it's a little bit cooler. And I, um, I've, what I've actually done is I've, I've purchased one of these kind of like wind, you know, portable air conditioners, which aren't great, but it's better than nothing. And yesterday I, I, I set it up uh, on the floor down there. But because this is quite an old building, obviously, the walls are about a meter thick and the aircon only came with a, an exhaust hose which was I think it's like two meters long or two and a half meters long which is nowhere near long enough so I purchased a longer one from Amazon I hooked that up through the window the hose started getting really really hot so then I wrapped some insulation around the hose had it on for three hours and it was actually no cooler in here yesterday. It was you know, 35 outside, it was like 35, 36 in here. The batteries were at 40, you know, I think they were at 40, 42, which is way too hot. Uh, so then I just turned it all off and opened everything. And in the end, what we've done is we, I've just lifted the air conditioning up, air conditioner up onto the window ledge there and connect, connected the short hose, which it came with, straight out the window and that seems to be working now so the room now is what are we down to we're down to like 26 uh, degrees celsius and it's 30 outside so so yeah it's um it's definitely working uh not the best air conditioner i have to say but it's uh really just a, a proof of concept i just wanted something because i was worried about those hot days and i was worried that it was going to get too hot in here so what the plan actually is once um, the summer is over, I'm sure all the air conditioning people are very busy at the moment because it's quite warm. Uh, I think in the winter, what I'm going to do is get a, an air conditioner installed up there, a split system, with, you know, a heat pump basically, and put the compressor outside out the back of the house and have that installed. I'll probably get that installed in January or February or March or something. Uh, and then I can just use the portable air con you know in the house or in the guest house or something when it's needed we need to do a little bit of maintenance work on battery number one so battery number one has actually developed a fault uh, it still works completely works the only thing is the display has stopped working um, so not quite sure what's going on there I've been in contact with the battery case manufacturer in China and that they're actually really responsive really good so uh, I've been talking to him on WhatsApp and we've been through all the settings and they said, look, we can just send you a new, a new display out in the post and I'm doing a new order from them anyway next week. So they'll just tack it onto the order. But he said, look, before um, we send you out a display, why don't you take the display out of the working battery and put it into the broken one and see if the display comes on? Because obviously if we took the you know, the display out of this battery and put it in this battery and it still didn't work, then obviously there's a problem with the, uh, you know, the battery management system, the BMS, which is the circuit board in this computer, which is the kind of brains of the system, if you like. So, um, yeah, so it's a little bit of a pain, really, uh, but it's a, a good time to sort of do this. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be shutting uh, the system down and uh, we'll be going on to AC power for the house. So the, the house will switch over to AC power. And then uh, the solar panel panels won't be making any power. Um, both of these batteries then will be not being used and I can then turn them off, disconnect all the cables. And then we can take both batteries apart on the floor here, which is uh, <laughs> something I've been dreading. Actually, I've been putting it off and putting it off, but so today is the day. And then we'll switch over the displays and see if uh, that fixes the problem. And if it does, then um, EEL battery uh, will then just send me a new display um, in the post and they'll actually just add it to the next order which is next week because uh, I'm ordering another one of these battery cases from them. Okay so uh, the first thing is we need to shut the system down. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to disconnect the uh, CAN cable because the system at the moment is on um, external control so the charge controllers, the Quattro, everything is listening to the batteries. They get, it's getting its information from the, from the batteries on what's called external control. So if I disconnect the CAN cable here, hopefully in a minute or two, there'll be a system error. Um, so it was, it's probably now you know, searching for the batteries, going, oh, what's going on, what's going on? And an error message will come up um, on the system. And then 
Um, once that happens, the system then will switch over to AC power. So that's literally been about, uh, let's say, a, about a minute or two, literally about a minute. So we can see here the house is using around 2000 watts and the, we're pulling all of that in now from the grid. So it's basically just a straight transfer. The solar system has shut down. In fact, the solar system is actually taking power, <laughs> which is kind of funny. I guess that's because uh, just to charge the, um, just to, to, you know, power the equipment, the charge controllers and so forth. So, uh, yeah. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to just shut down the, the, there we go. So I've just literally shut down the charge controllers there. They're actually turned off. Um, and um, I'm going to disconnect the system or rather disconnect these batteries. So turn, right, that's off and that's off now, boom. So I've shut those down and now we can see the solar system has gone, the battery, we've got nothing. Okay, let's have a look, whoops, there we go. For some reason it still has a, a, a little graphic there even though I've disconnected it. But uh, yeah, so basically that now has shut down. And if we actually look on the actual display here, this is the working battery, we can see here it says uh, current zero amps. So we know that there's no current going in or out of the battery. Obviously it can't because we physically disconnected it. Um, obviously this battery doesn't have the working display. Uh, it does still work because um, yeah, we've got the status uh, lights at the bottom there, uh, but this is what we're gonna test. Right, so we've already got a system alarm. So the system is complaining that there's a problem because I've turned the batteries off. So it's gonna, there we go. There. Right. Just to be extra safe, I'm just gonna put some uh, gaffer tape over the terminals. The positives are actually switched off up there, but the negatives aren't. Um, so there shouldn't be a problem, but you never know. So there we go. So we're, dis we're actually now completely disconnected uh, from uh, the main system. So let's get these off. And I think, let me just think. So I think the thing I'm gonna do is just remove the top case to start with. This is where I take my watch off. Let me see if I can get you a better view. So this is the module I need to change here. So it's just a, a simple matter of unscrewing that now. Here we go. So we've got the fully working module here. We know it works because it was on the other battery. Uh, they are compatible. So let's plug that in. And let's uh, power up the battery now and see if it comes on. Yay, it says battery management system. Okay, let's just wait for it to boot up. Yes, that's working. So this is so typical, isn't it? I, uh, just put the old one back in again just to check the old one again and it seems to be working so the old one is working now so it's obviously got some sort of intermittent fault or it's the old thing of like turning something off and on again 
seems to have um, sorted it. Maybe just unplugging it and plugging it back in again uh, was enough to get it working again. It, maybe it's got an intermittent fault. So I'm gonna get EL battery to uh, send me a new module anyway. Maybe there's a, a fault on this one or something. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Um, yeah, intermittent faults, I hate them. I'd much rather it was just broken, it would be far easier. Well, that seemed to get the other display working. They are both uh, actually working now, which is <laughs> fantastic. Weird, I, I guess it was just the fact that just disconnecting it and reconnecting it again got it to work again. I'll, I'll see if, uh, I think I'll just get them to send me a new display anyway. I'm sure they'll just send me one out. I'm, I think it's an intermittent fault or one of these things where just turning it on and off again made it work again. Turn these on. Okay, so we now have a working display. So if I switch that on, we have a working display here on this battery and on this battery now, we have a working display. So here's the interesting thing. As soon as I hooked everything up, switched it back on, got the system back online again, uh, the displays which I've actually switched over have stopped working so the, the one of them is working so this is obviously the one which was um, okay this one is doing some funny things and thinking about it this is what this when this display was in the other battery when I first the first time I ever switched it on it it had this weird problem where it would come on and then go off again come on then go off again and this is exactly what's happening now with the display when I put it in the other battery so Obviously, there is a fault with the display unit in this battery. This battery is still working, but the display is not working. Uh, now it's actually all switched on and hooked up to the system. So uh, what I now need to do is contact EEL battery and get them to send me out a new display. So like I said, I am building another battery, so I'm about to order a, a, another case from them. So they'll just add it onto the order, um, which I hopefully should receive in the next couple of weeks. Right, so we've got that diagnosed. We know it's the problem with the display. I'm gonna get another one on order and then I can get that put in the battery within the next few weeks. Uh, that shouldn't take too long to arrive. In the next video, we're gonna be looking at something very interesting that's just arrived in the post from China. Uh, something which we're gonna install in the system. So look out for that video. Thanks for your comments, by the way. Uh, it would really help me out uh, if you could like this uh, video and also leave a comment uh, in, the, uh, in the comment section. That really helps the channel grow and enables uh, this video to be discovered by other people as well. Okay guys, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you so much for all your amazing comments in the previous video and um, I'll catch you next time.